today I'm going to show you how to add a new dimension to your pentatonic soloing. Um, pretty much I came across this idea when uh, I started realizing that a lot of my improvising uh, relied heavily upon the pentatonic shape that we all know and love. And you know, while that's cool and fun and all, it got really old and um, so what I decided to do was the complete opposite of what I should have done and I started messing around with um, injecting the pentatonic scale on steroids pretty much. Um, I didn't invent this, I'm sure other guitarists do this all the time, but um, I've kind of discovered it on my own. It's this really weird um, sweep, uh, so it's a 3-1-3 three, three kind of pattern, so basically that means that on one string you have three notes, on the next string you have one note, and the next string you have three notes, and then it repeats itself. So it kind of sounds something like this. Um, pretty much, I'll just I'll just show you what that scale uh, looks like. So we're gonna do this in G. So your pointer finger is gonna be on the tenth fret of the A string, and then ring finger thirteenth uh, fret of the A string, and then pinky fifteenth fret of the A string. And then we have the 12th fret of the D string with your middle finger. And then on the G string we have 10 with your pointer, 12 with your middle, and then 15 with your pinky. And then on the B string we have uh, 13 with your ring. And then on the E string we have uh, 10 with your pointer, 12 with your middle, no sorry, 13 with your ring, and then uh, 15 with your pinky. So... Um, pretty much, it's kind of like a sweeping motion with this pick. I'm gonna add a different angle right now. So basically the pattern that I use for this uh, pentatonic is I do alternate picking for the three shape. So I have down, up, down, and then for the next string with the single note I sweep that so it's down and it leads into another sweep of the next string. Down and then alternate pick, up, down. And then the next string is a single note, so I sweep it down, and then sweep the next note down, then alternate pick up, and then down. And I go back down the scale, or up the scale, however you want to look at it. Um, pretty much you start with an up pick, down, up. And then you sweep that single note string, so up, which leads into another sweep for the next string, up, down, up, and then that leads into the single note string, which is another sweep, up, and then sweep up, down, up. So it's the same principle as going this way, you just mirror it pretty much, so... All in all, it sounds like this. But yeah, so that added a new dimension to my soloing just because even though it's the exact same notes as this shape, it just sounds more fluid. So, I mean, uh, and it's movable, like all shapes, pretty much. Um, so if I'm in G... Right, it works great there, but if I'm an A, I shift that whole shape up to the uh, 12th fret of the A string, which is A, and I copy and paste that pattern. So that's that, and I also came across this other shape that, um, again, I'm sure other guitarists do it, but I kind of discovered it on my own. Um, let's go back to G. 
And this one is a three note per string pattern and it incorporates the blues note. That one right there. So pretty much um, that shape is a uh, uh, tenth fret of the A string with your pointer, thirteenth fret with uh, your ring finger on the A string, and fifteenth fret with your pinky on the A string. Then on the D string we have eleven with your pointer, twelve with your middle, and then fifteen with your pinky. So all in all we have... And then that's basically the whole scale. Everything after that you're just repeating it in octaves. So you start here on G, which is the 12th fret of the G string. And you copy and paste that same shape you did here, just move it up here. So we have 12 with your pointer, 15 with your ring, 17 with your pinky. Then on the B string we have uh, 14 with your pointer, uh, 15 with your middle, and then 18 with your pinky. And then on the E string we have um, 15 with your pointer, and then 18 with your ring, and then 20 with your pinky. And for this uh, three note per string blues pentatonic shape, um, you can treat it as a three note per string scale. I have been trying to economy pick uh, going this way because my natural tendency is to alternate pick going this way and economy pick going this way. I don't know why, that's just always been my thing, but um, I've realized that when I play this way economy picking, it's much more efficient than going that way, which is the whole point. But Pretty much, I've been trying to break out of my alternate picking going this way and try economy picking everything. Um, if you don't know what economy picking is, really quick, it's pretty much, um, instead of going, let's say, down, up, down, up, you go down, up, down, down. So you have a little sweep between each string. So what's the difference between alternate picking is this. And economy picking is this. Right? So we have down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And then going this way, we have up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So the whole thing in general sounds like this. So again, that's the exact same scale as doing It just adds more of a fluid motion. Um, believe it or not, I think this one is actually easier to play than the other one because the other one is kind of like a finger twister because you're constantly changing shapes. This one, you just copy and paste those two patterns across the strings. And again, that shape is movable, just like the other one, so if I'm in G... You know, but if I'm in A... Move that shape to A. fun and games until someone loses a nut so yeah have fun with it uh, get creative I know I'm discovering new ways to incorporate it into my soloing um, and I hope you do as well so if you decide to post a video of you playing these ideas just let me know and I'll definitely check it out so yeah subscribe to my channel and I don't really know how to end videos so end